Many of you have been asking how to get an email address to use with Power BI so you can share your reports to the Power BI service. Power BI requires a business or education email. And I'm excited to share I just found a loophole where you can get a free business email address to use with Power BI. You don't need to buy a domain. You don't need to pay for business email hosting. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. We'll start by searching for Microsoft 365. We're looking for the Microsoft 365 subscription page. And on this page, under products in the menu, we're going to look for the for enterprise column and choose pricing for enterprise. Here over on the left, we need to click on the Office 365 for Enterprise link so we can see all the different licensing options. We're looking for Office 365 E3, and we want to click the Try for Free link. Now, this is a trial Microsoft 365 account, but according to the Microsoft website, once a trial expires, we'll still be able to use the email address we created to access the Power BI service. Here, we'll enter a personal email address and then click Next. Microsoft is going to tell us we need to set up an account click the Set Up Account button, and on this page, fill out the information and click the Next button at the bottom. Here, we need to go through the verification code process, so click Send Verification Code, enter the code, click Verify. Here, Microsoft gives us an option to change the subdomain for our email address. To do that, we can just enter it, then click the Save button. Then we need to create a password below, and click the Next button. And here, we'll just click the Get Started button. Now, we don't need to install Office apps to use Power BI, so we'll just click Continue at the bottom. And here, we're going to use a default domain that Microsoft set up. So click No Use Default Domain, then click Use This Domain at the bottom. We don't need to add any users at this time. So click Do This Later. And here, we'll just click the Continue link. Our setup is complete for our Microsoft 365 account. Next, we'll search for Power BI. I want to find the Power BI web page. And then you can click the Start Free link. And here, you can either click Try Power BI for free or use the Try Free link at the top. I think that was also on the last page. And I'll click the Continue link. Here, we're going to have to enter our phone number again, click Get Started, and then click Get Started again. Now, this is the Power BI service, also called PowerBI.com. If we go up to the top right and click on our avatar, we see that we have a free account. Clicking the Start Trial button will kick off a trial of a paid version of Power BI, but we don't need that in order to use the Power BI service. We can just use our free account. Next, we'll switch over to Power BI Desktop. We'll click Sign In at the top right, then enter the email we just created and click Continue. Enter our password, then click Sign In. Now at the top, we're going to click on Publish. It's going to ask if we want to save, click Save. Power BI creates a default workspace called My Workspace. We'll just click Select to use that. Now Power BI Desktop is publishing the Power BI service. Once it's done, click the Open link. And here we have a report in PowerBI.com. Now that you're all set up to use the Power BI service, I made this video that shows you all the free ways you can share your Power BI report with others, including how to publish to the web. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.